got a gift, man. Think of that, huh? You know, I think Pastor Abraham's church loves us. Huh? What do you think? It's good to have you in the house there, Brother Ray Bernard. It's good to see you here, man. It's good to have you. Good to see you. Make sure you come down and say hello to us. Listen, Sunday morning, it's just going to be a slamming morning. I need you to get here. I have an illustration for you. You like when I give you something, don't you? I'm going to bring you all a lizard. No, just, no I'm not going to preach on lizards, but I got, I got something for you. So I need you to come and be ready to be ministered to. And those of you that want to come early, we meet early in the morning. We meet about 7.30 here. We come in about 7.15. We go downstairs. We pray around the altar. And uh, so I just want to encourage you. Jewel, me, Margie, uh, Narcissa, a bunch of the teens were here last week, by the way, too, early in the morning. I, I loved it, man, too, with Tammy and the family, and, and just uh, very, very, very impressed how young people would come out to pray, you know, early in the morning, you know. You can't get too many people up at 7 o'clock in the morning, you know. But Jesus is awake, you know. So, uh, hey, listen, I thank you for uh, being here. Uh, very important announcement I want to make, you know, is, is, is that George is going to be having a surgery, and so we want to keep him in prayer all day tomorrow. He's, he's got like five hours, and he's made a request that some of you have come in, you know, he, he, he doesn't want us all there. The time I had an accident a couple of years back, and they had 80 people in the emergency room, and the nurses were mad. They said, look, we like that they love you, but they get mad and say, no, 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 I'm going to see my pastor now. You know, but are you family? Yeah, I'm his brother. <laughs> really? How come you Korean and he's Puerto Rican? Look, I'm his brother in Christ. You know, so just, you know, so let's just give George a little bit of come out and restroom and rest time. And then we'll go visit him, all right? And we'll celebrate when he gets back as well, okay? At uh, this time, I want to wait on you for the Lord's tithe and offering, amen? Yeah. As always, I want to thank you and tell you that it is expected that if you are a member of this church, that you, it is expected that if you are a member of this church, that you tithe, it is, ex it is expected that if you are a member of the body of Christ, that you tithe as well too, so that we can take care of the things of the house. And by the way, the 24-7 uh, house is closer and closer getting ours. So if any of you are making faith promises towards that, if you want to promise something towards it, a hundred bucks, whatever, you know, just, just uh, put it on a paper and say, Pastor Jimmy, I promise this. If you can't come up with it, it's a faith promise. That means if God sends it your way, you will put it in. So it's a faith promise. It's not on you. It's on God. You make the faith promise and he'll make it happen. Now, when he does bring it to you, don't spend it at Walmart. Anyway. Okay. Let me pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this time of giving and pray that you will bless this time for us now, Father, as we go forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Pastor Lewis. Thank you. Stand nearby. Okay. Amen. And the church, as the offerings being received, we're going to take the opportunity to share some quick announcements for you. I'm free. All right? First one is youth convention. All right? Your money is due this Woo! Sunday. All right? If your child's going to the, I'm sorry, if your young adult adolescent is going with, is going to the youth convention, their money is due this Sunday, okay? That's, this is the final last deadline according to Pastor Kirsten, all right? $30, all right? Also, this, on this Sunday, we have a little fundraiser for the women's ministry, all right? They're going to be doing a, a, a carry are or eat-in lunch on Sunday, April, 7th, tw April 27th, and you can purchase tickets for that on this Sunday as well, all right? Um, that is it for the announcement. But we have one more, all right? And, uh, oh my, all right? What? Today is... Today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Take it away there, uh, Susan. I don't know why. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pastor Jim. Happy birthday to you. 
got my motorcycle on it. Father, my prayer is that your church will grow in spirit and power. It's 47. It's 37, man. I guess that there's going to be cake afterwards. I better not catch any of you little kids with that little motorcycle. That's what I'm Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I thought you forgot about me this year. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, to you. Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Oh yeah, oh many more. Now that you saw the cake, you're probably wondering when you're going to eat it, right? If, I'm wondering. No, 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 just kidding. Listen, we're going to, after service, all right, we are going to, uh, if you go if you go towards the back, or our back room where we have our Berean, we got some coffee, all right? We got some cake, and we're just going to wow. fellowship together after the service today, all right? At this time, children, you're going to be up here. Shh, woo, psyched out, three of them. Oh, I love it when I do that, all right? You're going to be up here today, all right? We're just going to. Some of you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. It's 15 minutes, you know. You're sitting up here, all right? All right. <laughs> I, 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 I had, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know. <laughs> Where's that cake at? Okay, look, uh, we need to read a portion of scripture because we just got to say we preach the word tonight. Look, uh, we just praise, right? And he that begun a good work is going to see it to come. I just, I want to thank you so much. I'm, I'm always, you know, you always, this church always treats me good, you know. I never, I never need anything, you know. They've, they've treated me good. And my board has given me a raise and, you know, I don't have to worry about where I'm going to get cornflakes from and stuff. And um, it was some tough years and, and um, I share a good note with you. You know, yesterday I, I got to sit with the mayor. The city came to our church to have lunch. That may not be a big thing, but I don't know how many pastors have the mayor of the city coming to their church. And I told them that we want to enlarge our footprint. So we want to enlarge our footprint in the community. We need to stretch out. And uh, I told him that we had prayed for him that morning, and he let us uh, pray for him at lunch. And then afterwards, I prayed for him privately. And uh, I told him I wanted him to know our, our agenda very clearly. 
we were not trying to be a social agency. We're not competing for many grants. You know, we, we want to enlarge our footprint. And uh, so he said, why don't you pick the buildings that you want? I'll get you a parking lot. <laughs> you know, and so uh, I believe they're going to be giving us what we need to, to grow. We're thinking of building you a patio out there called Solomon's Porch with a little overhead where you can just sit out there with some picnic tables in the summertime and chill out. You know, would that be nice to a little, just, just a little fellowship and then maybe this wall can go down and uh, over or the balcony can come out 20 feet. We, we don't know yet, but we do know that when the building only holds 225 and you have 281, it's very obvious that something's wrong, you know. So, uh, Pastor Abraham's church has been a wonderful addition. We, 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 we've spent, and by the way, we, we go to his house a Sunday night sometimes. And uh, <laughs> don't go to Pastor Abraham's house if you're not planning on staying up all that night. Because Samia makes wonderful, good food. Then they, give you, then they give you Arabic coffee. Which means that I'm at home and Debbie's sleeping and I'm like, even she says, what are you doing? I said, I can't sleep. And, and like five in the morning, I'm waiting for Jesus. You know, <laughs> I'm waiting for Jesus. <laughs> Debbie gets up and she says, good morning, honey. I said, good morning. I haven't had morning yet. I've been, I'm still on last night, so. But I've always had a good time. And we're going to have them come fellowship some young. They, the children, thank you. They are just, they're the real deal, man. They, they're, they're, they're just genuine. And so, uh. I love seeing all the kids, and could you just come this Sunday? Look, this this is the sermon here. It, you know, I'll say amen in a few minutes, and and we'll go back and fellowship, and that's good, right? Because God's word said in the book of Acts, and they broke bread and ate cake and had coffee. I don't know, something like that. But I'm sure it says it somewhere. And and uh, but what I want to do is I want to challenge you. Could you do what you've been doing for the last six weeks this Sunday morning? I believe, some, I believe some other people are going to get healed. You know, we've had a total of three people healed. Two Sunday nights ago, 14 people got baptized in the Holy Spirit, including kids. Stuff's been happening. A third uh, Sunday ago, Pastor Lewis preached the best sermon he never preached. The service went for five hours, and he, we never got to preach. We just ministered around the altar. Wasn't that cool? You know? Had someone come and they were trying to push somebody. I said, don't, don't, don't push nobody. Don't, don't do that. We're not worried about people seeing people fall. We're, we're, we're worried about them standing tall for the Lord, you know. So, so, so in the midst of this revival, renewal, Holy Ghost, shaking, going on at City Limits, you may see some things that may scare you a little bit. Just be open, you know. And when something weird happens to you, we won't goof on you either. Okay, all right, are you follow me? When, when, something, when something different happens to you, when you come out of your box, we won't goof on you. And, and uh, I just want to say thank you. Let, let me pray for you tonight. Thank you for honoring me on my birthday. 47. <laughs> I feel strong. I feel stronger than I've ever felt in my life. And uh, I feel we're going to do some great things, man. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for worship, for praise, for your people, for your families. We pray for this church. For God's big church, for, for the universal. We also pray for Pastor Abraham's congregation, that they will grow and be filled with the Spirit and be anointed. We pray for those of us here that, that are trying to go in a little deeper, as we said on Sunday morning, to go in a little more than ankle deep. They're trying to get in knee deep and get in waist deep, as Ezekiel 47 says. And some of us who just need to throw arms up and surrender and say, I'm going to serve the Lord, and I don't need to be in charge anymore. And I believe that's why we're seeing things happening. I can clearly tell you, this year is out of my hands. I have no, 
I'm not on the reins right now. You know. So we thank you, Lord, and pray your blessing. Thank you for my birthday, Lord, and, and thank you for giving me another one. Lord, give me some more and keep me healthy and keep this church on fire for you. In Jesus' name, amen. I, I, I don't know what, what's next uh, to Pastor Kirsten. Have we got any instruction? That you know what's going on? Is it, does anyone know what happens next? Where's Pastor Lewis at? Does anyone know what we're supposed to do now? You know? What are we supposed to do now? Huh? It's, it's dismissed class. It's 9 o'clock. We, we're going home, son. It's 9 o'clock. We've been praising and worshiping for two hours. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going home. I think it's cake time, right? Is, is, is it cake and coffee time? Okay. Listen. I, oh, okay. Uh, uh, get, we'll, get the, we'll get the worship team up there, Deacon. Do something. Come on now. I'm going to ask if Pastor Abraham will, will pray in Arabic. You pray a blessing over the church. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I want to let you use my cool microphone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am sent, Pastor. One minute. Yeah. Me and you, yeah. we need to confess. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we did Sunday? <laughs> Churches in the area, but I am did not meet Jesus Christ in the churches. But the Jesus Christ I am met here. Yes, here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ here. Holy Spirit here. Yes, yes, I am touched, Holy Spirit. But uh, my wife now t today coming. My wife. As she follow Holy Spirit today when Pastor Jim <laughs> and speak tongue now. Today my wife speak by tongue. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Baptizing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pray for my family, okay? Yes. Pray for us now. Karim wal Ma'abud, Nahun Azimak Munkul al Kal. Hallelujah. Lack al Magd. Lack al Magd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nashkuruk munkul al Kalb. Naam, ya Sayyid Rabba, astati an akul. Ya Sayyid Rabbi had al Kalimat al Mubarak al Muazia al Kuluban am tela at Afwahana Dukkan. Wa al Sinatna Taranuman, Tuber Unas in Azhum B. Turuk Baitak fi Kulubihim. Abirina Fuad al Buka. يسيرونه ينبوعا لهم لك المجد يا سيد الرب نحن نعظمك من أجل هذا المكان من أجل الكنيسة من أجل الأسيس أمامك من أجل شعبك يا سيد الرب 
بفيض علينا بنعمة بالروح القدس أيها الحبيب الغالي بفيض متكرر يا سيد الرب أحمل عبيدك على الأزرع الأبدية يا ابن الله أعطى عبدك الآن قوة ومعونة هللويا ليتعظم اسمك الكريم المبارك بالروح القدس أيها الحبيب الغالي جدد يا رب عبدك مثل النسر شبابه وامنحه سلاما كامل معونة من عندك أيها القدوس المبارك مكتوب ولبنيامين قال حبيب الرب يسكن لديه آمنا يستره طول النهار وبين منكبي يسكن جيفارا شيبا هللويا لورج كستيريان سيماريا شبر الشوب أبو هللويا لك المجد لك المجد لك المجد فيد في بالروح القدس واملى عبدك بكل ملأك يا روح الله أمام سلطان دمك يا رب أمام قوة صليبك أمام قوة الدم الغالي تمجد فينا بالروح القدس ولك كل المجد في اسم الرب يسوع نرجو هذا إيمان هللويا هللويا بريز هلول هللويا كنيسة Yes, yes, I love, I love your church. Yes, can you say Habibi? Yes, Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Pray, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hey, let let's. Go have coffee. Oh, oh no, I, I know, right? Go ahead, fire it up. <laughs> One song and then we go back. Black, I'm a lady. 